Welcome in to episode 27 of Women's Basketball Now. This is Hamilton Neal, and we're bringing you another new episode today as it pertains to UConn women's basketball. UConn women's basketball team just took a huge hit for their 2022-3 season with the loss of Paige Beckers. And here in this video, we're going to examine the rest of the Huskies roster. We're going to talk about 10 players and the impact that they will have on this squad now that Paige Beckers is going to miss the year. Like I said in the Page video, when we talked about the news that Page tore ACL, every player on this UConn roster right now is automatically going to have a bigger role just because of Page's absence. So let's start by talking about AZ Fudd and Caroline Ducharme. These two are sophomores. Got a lot of playing time last year. Ducharme missed a little bit of time, but played most of the year. And when Page went down, she had a very big role with this team, was leading them in scoring at a point. AZ Fudd, Missed some games with a foot injury, but when she was in there and when she got healthy, we saw the potential. We saw the number one ranked recruit out there on the floor. And these two will be the primary playmakers in the backcourt. These two, along with Lou Lopez Senechal, are going to be relied upon to make up for Paige's absence. And as for Lou Lopez Senechal, she is the one player that can do some of the things that Paige does. Be a playmaker off screens hit the jump shot, all of that good stuff. Now, again, nobody's going to do it as effectively as Paige can, and you can't make up for what she does 100%. But Lou is a bigger guard. She can do some of those things. So she could really be the biggest X factor. And again, I talked about that back in July with another video, how she's going to be the biggest X factor for this team because of her abilities offensively. But now she is... No question the biggest X factor because she's the one player that can replicate some of the things that Paige Backers can do. And again, as for Fudd and Ducharme, they're going to have to hit shots on the outside. That's what they do. They're knockdown three-point shooters. Ducharme can play a little bit inside as well, catching the basketball, finishing close to the hoop, but she is a lights-out three-point shooter. Has the ability to be that. AZ Fudd, that's the strong point of her game, three-point shooting. So... Those three in the backcourt are going to be very important. And Nika Meal at point guard, also going to be huge as well. And she's going to be big for a couple of reasons. One is her leadership. Paige Beckers is one of the best leaders in women's college basketball. So is Nika Meal. And when we talk about making up for Paige Beckers' absence and what she brings to the table, it's not just on-the-floor ability, scoring, passing, all that stuff, but it's also leadership. Paige is a great leader. Nika Meal has been a leader defensively, but is going to have to become more of an overall team leader offensively as well. And that's where she's going to be counted on. Not just for leadership, but also for scoring production. Because through her first two years at UConn, she has not been an offensive force. She hasn't been a great scorer. So if she can really pick that up just a little bit more, along with Fudd, Ducharme, and Lou Lopez Senechal, then UConn is going to be in pretty good shape in the backcourt. UConn is lucky that they have the depth that they have. Now that this happened to Paige Beckers, they have the possible pieces to make this happen. They have players, these four, that can make an impact. So the backcourt is looking pretty good, but these players have to elevate their play. Everybody does, including the frontcourt prospects, Dorka Juhas, Aliyah Edwards. Those two kind of struggled to gel together early last season, kind of came together down the stretch during the tournament. Those two will be the primary post scorers. Those two are going to be those post players that back you down, score on the interior, try to get to the free throw line a little bit, and get those double doubles. And Gino Oriam is very excited about Dorka. Leah Edwards is starting to develop as well. A couple of freshmen that you really should take note of are Ayanna Patterson and Ice Brady. These two make up the 2022 freshman class for UConn. Both are very talented, but we haven't seen them on a college floor yet. We haven't seen them in-game. So once they get out on the floor, we're going to see what they're made of. And they may have to play a little bit more. Again, like I said, everybody's role is going to get a little bit bigger. Patterson is versatile at the wing spot, is super athletic, three-level scorer. Ice Brady is physical on the post, and I think has what it takes to play with Aaliyah Edwards, play alongside Dorka Juhas. Aubrey Griffin is going to be a defensive stopper. Her rebounding ability, her athleticism, her ability to chip in with a few points, that's going to go a long way for UConn. It's going to go a very, very long way. Because again, defensively, they're always very good. 
they're going to be even better now with Aubrey Griffin back. Her season was just absolutely wrecked last year by injuries. Back injury, a couple other things that really hung her up. Now she's back, ready to make an impact. And that's what we talked about in another one of our July videos, was Aubrey Griffin. She's back, UConn's going to be better on that side. And then finally, Amari DeBerry. The last post player out of this group that also features Brady, Edwards, and Juhas. Last year, when DeBerry came in in junk minutes, she was shooting a lot of three-pointers, something that must have made Gina Oriama very upset. And the reason I say that is because DeBerry is too talented, too long, too athletic, too versatile to just stay on the outside and hit jump shots. She has to be able to develop a low-post game, or she's not going to get on the floor at UConn. That's just the bottom line. And if she can develop that, along with confidence defensively, then look out for her as an impact player for this team. So that is just a look at the UConn roster, what all these players bring to the table. These 10 are going to be relied upon to make up for what Paige Beckers won't be able to do this season. So that's just a look at these 10 players and what their jobs and what their roles are going to be on this team because Paige Beckers won't be playing this season. Again, like I said, everybody's role increases everybody's role gets that much bigger. Again, that's all the time we have on this episode of Women's Basketball Now. Thank you to all of the viewers for taking the time to watch. We're going to have much more content coming up here in the month of August soon, and definitely stay tuned for that. Again, like, comment, definitely subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.